What's up? Part two, Meat Canyon. Let's watch. Fucking I'm Dora gonna the swipe ya, you, you stupid bitch. Whoa, man. Venat Zorro. Ahí él está. Zorro, no te lo lleves. The Chungus. Tus actos vilánicos te han traído aquí, Zorro. Wait, what the fuck? You're not supposed to speak Spanish in this part of the show. Esto es real, Zorro. Eres un ratero, un traicionero y salvaje. What are you even saying? <laughs> I What's going on in this situation? Botar? Quítale la lengua. Oh, Zorro fuck. debe pagar por sus crímenes. Oh, Le debería de cortar los brazos al zorro para que ya no robe. Ojo por ojo, diente por diente. Jesus. Wait, oh god, no. No. El zorro ya nunca más robará. ¿Dejamos su cuerpo para que los buitres se lo coman? ¿O lo disolvemos en un barril de ácido? What the fuck? ¿Qué dijeron? ¿Que lo disolvamos en un barril de ácido? ¡Ok! ¡Vámonos! Why is your face on that? Dora, you dumb bitch! You, you butchered him like a pig! Ah, oh, you made a huge mess! Alright, well, go ahead and put him in me. There you go. Nice and easy. Put him in me. There we go. Hey, you don't see Mappa helping you dispose these bodies, do ya? <laughs> what the hell are you still doing here? Get out of here! The video's done! <laughs> what the fuck? That was weird. Hey, this is Silk Sonic. Check out our new song Skate on YouTube Music's The Hit List. <laughs> okay. So, <sighs> David, what's Dobrik. up? Well, uh, you picked me up with your camera and all these people, so, um, I'm assuming I'm getting a car. Oh okay, well, uh... I got a surprise for you. Guess whose it is. <laughs> I don't know, Dylan. Is it mine? Oh, oh my god. god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, watching their videos, David Dobrik is kind of crazy. Oh my god! Like, all right, chill. okay, all right. Come on, guys, 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 guys. It's Jesus. Not my type of shit anymore. Now, Dylan, while this is a super nice thing you've done, I just hey, uh, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't do that. Just. But this is the sixth car you've given me. Oh, oh my God! Six cars! You guys got me six cars. Oh, I'm going to find out where I am. He's bought us all multiple cars. How many cars is it gonna take until it's not surprising anymore? I mean, I get you want to have a reaction for the video, but holy fuck! Let's ease up on the cackling and cheering for five fucking minutes. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Now, Dylan. I appreciate it. I just can't afford the insurance and property taxes on all these Lamborghinis, man. That's true. I push carts at Target, for God's sakes. Do you know how obnoxious I look driving a neon green Lamborghini to a minimum wage job? Like, I don't know. It's horrible. His views back I can't then sell them because you've leased now. all of these cars under your so name. Now it feels like... So now I have crippling debt and six Lamborghinis. Who would want that, Dylan? Who? Tell me. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Greg? <laughs> What are you trying to say? Honestly, what I'm saying is, I don't want this car. Or any of the cars you've given me. You fucked me, Dylan. I'm totally fucked. What's your name? Whoa, what are man. you even talking about? My name is Greg. Wrong! Whoa, what's man. your name? I don't... I, I don't know what you want Your name's Dylan's friend! Your existence <laughs> is being my friend! When people think of you, they really think of me. <laughs> and that's who you are now. Fuck 
this. Wait, I'm getting out of here, man. No, no. I have absorbed his nutrients. No one will refuse my generosity again. Right? No, oh, yeah. Yeah. no, yeah, I, no, I, no, 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 Fucking office, I love this TV show. Thunder fucking love Mifflin. this shit. This is, this is my Jim. actual hey, first time Jim. watching this. This is Pam. I think it's time to prank Dwight now. Oh, does that amuse you, baby? Does me pranking Dwight make your panties moist? Yes, Jim. Thank you. My panties are very wet. I am indifferent to Jim's existence. What the fuck? Oh my god. My world is crumbling around me. Michael, <laughs> I want Jim fired. Well, I don't think that's gonna happen. You're a social parasite, right? An outcast that no one cares for. You slave away all day just to look like a fool by my hand, and no one pays any attention. All because this you animation. are so incredibly what different and unlikable. Oh, curse you, Jim, and your wacky pranks. I, too, want to fuck Pam. I'm hoping that Pam will be able to notice my overbearing friendship and open herself up to me. But as of late, she is sending me nothing but mixed signals. I love you, Jim. Don't touch me. <sighs> okay. St. Jude is fighting for one goal, like this one mission, life. Open your eyes, Kevin. Oh, is this the, the other it's video? It's time to witness you're talking perfection. About perfection. What's going on? We are here to complete what we started. Dude, what happened to their jaws? What the fuck? Let me go! We have been pushed beyond the point of no return, Kevin. Outcasted by all of those we so desperately wanted to be a part of. But you, Kevin, you were the one who was so cruel to us. And that's why you are here today. Let me go, dorks! You're gonna pay for this! Oh, I have paid, Kevin. I am blinded by the beautiful truth. And you are still lying to yourself in the darkness. What? What is the truth? Truth belongs to those who seek it. And I've been searching for a long, long time. My truth is retribution. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Ed, bring me his jaw. Just hold on a second. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for being so rude to you guys all these years, I swear. Kevin, 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 Kevin. It's okay. Silence now. You are going to give back to us far more than you could ever know. Don't be afraid, Kevin. Enjoy this moment. It is so much more vibrant than the darkness that awaits you. I will give you this moment to cherish this. That is my gift to you. Uh. Existence is behind you now, Kevin. Enjoy the silence. What the fuck?
Oh my god, what's going on? The taste of retribution sure is sweet. Well, Charlie, you're the last child left. Isn't Willy that exciting? Wonka. I don't know. You're a very lucky little boy. You get to see what's behind that door. Now, Charlie, don't you want to see what's behind that door? I don't know. Come on, it'll be fun. Follow me. <laughs> oh, oh caught you taking a peek there, Charlie. <laughs> That's all right. Nothing wrong with window shopping what from time the to fuck time. Is this? It's when you get handsy. It's when you get yourself into some trouble. Come over here, Charlie. There's one last part of the factory I'd like to show you. Go ahead and taste the wall. Go on, try it. Well, what flavor do you think it is? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Charlie, I'm just messing with you. There's no flavor on the wall. You like that rust pretty good, though. Don't worry. We'll get you a little tetanus shot before you leave. Where's my grandpa? Oh, he's just hanging around. Don't worry. You're in good hands. <laughs> Take a look at this. Yeah, it's oh. pretty cool. I know a lot of celebrities, I guess. They like their finger around here in the factory from time to time. Kevin Spacey. Hey, do you know who this is, Charlie? Uh, I don't George know. Bush. That's the 42nd president of the United States, Bill Clinton. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. Oh, Us presidents no. have a lot of connections, Charlie. A lot of connections. Oh, man. But so do I. You know, Charlie, your clothes look awfully filthy. I'm all for a little stink, but best to get you some clean clothes, you know, for later. Uh. Oh. Oompa loompa doopa dee doo. You are a filthy boy, yes, that's true. Uh, uh, uh. You have soft hands and beautiful eyes. Take his measurements and be gone with you. He oh. looks like a medium. Let's get him a small. Get it right. Get it tight. Be gone! Sorry about that, Charlie. That didn't make you feel uncomfortable, did it? Uh, I don't know. Gosh, Charlie, I, I gotta tell you, my back and shoulders are tight. <laughs> Running a factory sure does have its physical costs. Have you ever, uh... Had a massage, Charlie? Uh, I don't know. Yuck, what the Your fuck? Your hands look very soft. <laughs> also strong, very strong. You play much baseball? Uh, I don't know. Only a couple rooms down. Come on, big guy. Charlie, you wouldn't mind giving me a quick massage, would you, pal? Oh my god. I hate to be a stickler about the rules, but the golden ticket you have there states that I can ask for a free massage at any time. You look like you don't believe me. Go ahead and take a look. We've really bonded, Charlie. I'm excited to get to know you a whole lot better. Okay. Let's put those hands to good use. What do you say? There is. You, did you hear me, you little shit? You didn't see a fucking thing. We didn't know what was going on! Don't worry, son. You're safe now. He didn't hurt you, did he? I don't know. Charlie, my friend! I made it out of the Choker River, Charlie! Charlie! Oh, uh, Jesus Christ! He's got a gun! It was... It was just some German kid. Damn! Uh, chocolate monsters, yeah! That's it! We don't want to tell anyone about what happened here today with the chocolate monsters. Right, Charlie? Uh, I don't know. Get him out of here!
Oh, shit. There was a house on top of a hill where a dying scientist bequeathed his life's work to his two assistants, Caps and Uno. The scientist gave instructions on how to create monsters to solve any problem, along with a series of documents on the cure to cancer, AIDS, and world hunger. But, unfortunately, due to an untimely grease fire caused by someone cooking surprise, not naming any names, but the house was burnt down, and the scientist's work was what lost to win it. Now, with a handful of monsters and a fire insurance check, Katz and Uno have purchased a three-bedroom house in a quiet suburban town. This is their monster land. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What the fuck is that? Deep in the hundred acre wood, Winnie Christopher Pooh. Robin and his friends have had many wonderful adventures. Oh no. And I believe we may have oh, just enough time God. to tell you one of my favorite tales Winnie the Pooh and the Great Honey Tree. No, no. On this brisk autumn morning, Piglet was on his way to see his good friend Winnie the Pooh so that they may look for more honey in the forest. I cannot wait to search for honey in the forest with my good friend P Oh my god! Oh bother. Piglet, I seem to have eaten all of my delicious honey. Oh my god, Pooh! This, this is too much! Look at you! you you're going to pop! That's what we told him, but he insisted that we get eaten. Dear God, Tigger, is that you in there? It sure is, Piglet, along with all our friends. You all wanted to be in there? In Pooh Bear's big old tummy? We love being in here, Piglet. Together. Together in Pooh. Join us, Piglet! Be one with us! I, I don't know, this, check. this is all so new to me. Inside me, you are safe, Piglet. You are family. Join us! Join us! Join us! Join us! Join I'm afraid, us. Pooh. I've never done something like this before. Stuff me like a pot of honey, Piglet. Oh my mm. god. Make me feel good. Make us all feel good! Oh, Pooh, is it, is it okay to be horny when being eaten? Says Piglet. Christopher! Dinner's ready. He just fucking cursed, Mom! Shut the fuck up! I'm coming! <laughs> okay, sweetheart. Fucking whore, bitch! The fucking... What the and fuck? And so, Christopher Robin uploaded the most liked war fan fiction on furaffinity.net, thus giving him social rankings amongst the furries that could only be comparable to a king. The end. This is you! You're this child! You love our cartoons! You love Racist Mario! And ice cream! Mm, yummy! Meat Canyon! You wanna get in on this? Huh? What? Oh, hell yeah! Oh, fuck! Oh, god, yeah! Oh, get in there! I think he's convinced. Let's get the fuck out of here! Drive, Tiki, drive! Today, this shit is so fucking weird. What the fuck? Ah, oh, no, Mr. Beast. <laughs> Not him. <laughs> I just bought my most terminally ill fan his replacement heart. Oh my god. Is that Mr. Beast? This kid looks sick as heck, dude. Bruh. Do you want a heart to save your life? Or do you want a Mr. Beast rap Tesla? I would literally kill myself for a Tesla. Good boy. Now, you have to search these hundred coolers filled with human hearts to find the Tesla key. Man, I wish I was terminally ill. Your boy be driving a Ford Explorer. Bruh. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if this guy should be doing this. He looks really sick, Jimmy. Oh, man. Yeah! 
What the Man, f I'm looking to play some Among Us with my boys. Nope. All right, dying guy. You got about 20 more seconds to find the key. Oh, what seems to be going on in here? Oh my God, it's Mr. Beast. Oh, I've been a fan since 1 million subs. Oh man, this is awesome. Always great to hear. Here's $5,000 and we just planted 2,000 trees outside of Liberty, Missouri in your name. Thanks for being a fan. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh. Uh, I got it. I got the Tesla key. Oh, congrats <laughs> on your new car. Now, unfortunately, you won't be able to get a new heart, and you're still on track to die in about two weeks. But don't worry. We will be planting 2,000 trees outside of Liberty, Missouri in your name. Also, we will be planting 1,000 trees for every million views this video gets. So please share, like, and comment, and rewatch this so we can keep this brave man's legacy alive. Well, I have a, a donor coming out of state to bring me a new heart in a few days, so I think I should recover, okay? Bruh. Today, I just bought this entire hospital. And with that, we end it. <laughs> Fucking weird. Bye-bye.